And now, I'm sure you've been talking uh, about the wintry blast that's on its way. We've been talking about it, haven't we? Uh, my son is very excited about the prospect of a snow day in March. I should tell you that. I feel, though, Sia, we need a bit more detail, don't we? Absolutely. Uh, why don't we talk to our very own Claire Nazir as she joins us now. Uh, Claire, Hi, Claire, what is going on? Good evening, Claire. <laughs> what is going on right now? Why are things so cold? <laughs> <You might> have... <laughs> well, if you think about it, last week, five years ago, we were suffering from the beast from the east, which covered most of the country in ice and snow and gales. So it does happen at this time of year, although we are now in meteorological spring. And in fact, daylight increases rapidly through March. So it's a blip, but it's a blip which could last about a week or so. And there are warnings in force, as I mentioned earlier on my broadcast. Yeah, and, and Claire, in, in terms of those warnings, I, I know I was saying my son is looking forward to it, but it... it at this time of year, really bad weather can have devastating effect, can't it, on just talking about transport with Alan as well? Oh, my goodness. I mean, there will be impacts massively right the way through the week. There are snow and ice warnings for the next few days. Really, for the next few days, it's snow and ice, particularly in the north and east, but it's the cold which will be really get into your bones, a lazy wind, and temperatures by night dipping down well below freezing. So a bitter air, air coming in from the Arctic, delivering those snow showers, and quite an unpleasant start to the day across southern counties with a mix of rain and slushy snow, and also slippery surfaces there. So not pleasant, but all eyes are really on the middle to the latter part of the week, where we're seeing another system just tracking this time from the west, so it's going to bring some milder conditions, but the air is stubborn across the UK. It's going to become colder through the week. And this is where we'll see that rain engaging with that cold air, producing quite a, an area of snow. So warnings have been issued for Northern Ireland, Northern England, North Wales, central and southern parts of Scotland. And we could see up to 40 centimetres of snow over the high ground, 10 to 15 at lower levels, and certainly add on the strength of the wind. It's going to feel like, well, the middle part of January rather than approaching sort of mid-March. Yeah, let's talk about what parts of Scotland's going to see. I mean, it, it, we know Scotland, parts of Scotland can get quite cold, but minus 10 in March, that, that has to be extraordinary. Oh, it really is. It's um, something which we can't really comprehend, really, in this country when temperatures tend to dip just below freezing. In fact, we could even see a minus 15 in some glens. So that's, yes, that's very cold, but we will see some sunshine through the middle part of the week. But it's really that bitterness plus the risk of snow Add on the strength of the wind, we could see blizzards. There is still some uncertainty about distribution of this snow, so it really is one to watch. But certainly, many areas will see wintriness through this week, and it's going to cause problems on the roads, the rails, as well as in the air as well on, on airports. It really is going to be one of the one of the weeks where we'll look back and go, well, thank goodness we didn't travel. And my advice is mm. do not travel. Really stay at home. Slippery surfaces will be an issue. And check on other friends and family, particularly those who are vulnerable or the old, there is a level three alert out across much of England. And that means there's severe weather on the way and people will suffer and there are many risks out there. Yeah, exactly. I, I suppose the, the one positive, Claire, is it does give us something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. And it keeps me in a job as well, Dan. And <laughs> I must admit, you know, um, we do like a little bit of the white stuff here. We do like to talk about it. And it's just one of those things where we're just going to have to brace ourselves, enjoy what's coming, stay safe. And then spring is just around the corner again. The blossoms will be out soon. And, and the final thing I must say, though, is good to see you back, Dan. It really is. Aww. Oh, it's nice to see you as well. Thank you very much, Claire. See you later on. Take care in that weather. Thanks, Claire.